can I see a facial expression when somebody does mention the B word? It's just, just like. <laughs> this is the look. Yes. This is my mum's look. She goes. Yes. <laughs> Hey, I'm Lucy, I'm here with WeWe Blogs, and I am here with Michael Rice of the United Hi. Kingdom. Hi everyone. Hey, hey. <laughs> so this year, Bigger Than Us is yeah. it's a big track, yeah. and it's got a lot of support back in the UK, yeah. more so than for a very long time. How does it feel knowing that the public are really behind you? It's absolutely crazy, like, I just think, like, I just can't believe it's still me. I think I'm, I think it hasn't actually, like, sunk in yet, that it's me. And I've seen, like, loads of people, like, when the You Decide songs came out, really bashing the song. Um, and I think this song really does stand out. It might be a bit generic, it might be, like, X Factor song, but honestly, it really does stand out from most of them, if I should say so myself. Um, I think it's a really big song, um, and it's certainly one of the biggest songs, like one of the biggest songs that we've had. And I mean, with those vocals that you've got as well, they, they are bigger than us, <laughs> they are huge. Like, do you really think that your kind of voice really lends itself to this song in particular? Yeah, like I always remember hearing the original demo with John Lundvik, and his voice on that demo was absolutely amazing. So I was like, how am I gonna be able to like top this? Um, but he was really like supportive, and he really likes the version. So I was just really proud that I'd done the writers proud as well when I recorded it so is it coming home hopefully <laughs> hopefully I think it's been so long now I think loads of people have really lost hope with the UK and like I'm just saying I spread positivity because I really do believe that we can bring a home regardless of Brexit and all that stuff going on. the B word you said the B word I don't even care now honestly <laughs> I think like everyone's drawn on about the Brexit and stuff like that. and I just think this is a competition about music and like and, I've, and this song really does like it, the, like to me the song personally represents like whatever age you are like gender whatever uh, like sexuality of our like the weird the wonderful like we're all we're all something and I think the song really is a universal message and that's what I'm going to bring on the stage in Tel Aviv I'm going to make sure it's a bold performance can I see a facial expression when somebody does mention the B word it's just, just like <laughs> this is the look yes this is my mum's look she goes yes <laughs> tell you what positivity what's your do's a point face uh, what's that mean do's a point the 12 points oh. if you get 12 points yes <laughs> I thought you were going to fall over then. <laughs> I've seen loads of people say zero, so I'm really surprised with the 12 points. If you hear, uh, like, it's a good yeah. thing, it's French for UK. Honestly, I said, I said earlier, I said I don't really know about the, no, the voting. I said I'll be sat there in them little cubicles, like, what, them little chair things. I'll be sat there like, it's going, what's going on here? But, uh, Am I winning? I know, I, I won't even know. So, yeah, I think they're just going to keep letting, like, like, hint when they know when I'm going to come up, so... Yeah. You'll see the camera crew up here, yeah. and you're just like... <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> um, have you met John Lundvik yet? Yeah, I have. Yeah, he was at the You Decide show. Oh, cool. Yeah, he's been um, very supportive. Um, he's been, like, FaceTiming me and stuff like that. Um, we've been really chatting a lot, um, obviously, with Laurel Barker, the writer and stuff like that, and obviously she's got Germany and... Switzerland. Switzerland, yeah. yeah. Um, so it's absolutely amazing. I just think we're all like one big team, like Switzerland, Germany, we're all, because we've all got similar songwriters, so we're all very supportive. Yeah. Are you going to like show them some sights of London next week at London Eurovision Party? Yes, definitely. I've said like I want to do like a big meet up outside the London thing, whether they let me do it or not, but I really want to do it. Do it anyway. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is there anything in particularly British that you want to show your fellow contestants next week? Oh, so, oh, I don't know. What can I say? I say waffles and crepes, but that's more oh, French. Or Belgian. I'd bring waffles and crepes from the waffle and crepes shack, but uh, I think they might be a bit cold by the time yeah. I got there. So All the way down from Hartlepool. Yeah. It's maybe a long journey. Maybe kebab, maybe a dirty kebab and chips. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> so. oh, well, it's been an absolute pleasure. Oh, thank you. It's really? been lovely meeting you finally. And, oh, I know. Yeah. I took it on Twitter. Yeah. But um, yeah, you're going to, like, the British people are so proud yeah. of you. Oh, Smash oh. it, sis. Thank you. Woo! I'll smoke grab you on there. <laughs>